I think I know what a kept woman is, but what is a kept woman? What's your definition in your life? <laughs> to me, a kept woman is a woman who is watered well. Mm -hmm. she is poured into she is pampered she is observed he observes me mm. he knows what I like he nourishes me I don't cook anything he cooks breakfast lunch and dinner mm. he literally takes care of me you understand yeah. like he pours into me spiritually. He finds things that he know I'm interested in, like with the group or different things like that. And he'll say, babe, listen to this, look at this. I just found this. Like he's always pouring into me. He's always protecting me. Black women don't know that when you're marrying a man, you are marrying your bodyguard. Oh, hello. He is very protective of me. Mm. Extremely protective of me. Bird. and he's fun we have fun we laugh like we'll wake up because you know no one's really living in um time zones and time frames anymore right. so we'll wake up at like four in the morning every day and he's just like making jokes i'm making jokes we're laughing and then we do things we might watch a movie we have fun we travel together you know what i mean yeah. so once a man know what he wants yeah. He will do anything to get it. Yeah. And he did that full circle. Wow. So that is what a cat woman is to me. Someone who is very well watered. Yes, that is so beautiful for you, honey. Mm -hmm. You also are big on encouraging black women to pour into other black women. And it is something about women who love other women and I saw a tweet the other day that really resonated with with me and it was about how women need to do more of loving other women and it's not even about like romantically although it could be romantically but we need to do more of not just loving men but really loving and pouring onto other women like going forward and um so that reminded me about what you said but why do you think that that is so important for you especially in terms of our journey into self-discovery so the biggest thing is you cannot get into your true feminine essence unless you have a sisterhood mm -hmm. because you look to your masculine energy as your homegirl you come home and you flock to him and baby listen to what happened to me today and oh my goodness I can't believe she said this and you talk to him as though she's like he's a friend yes. and sometimes you might even make a mistake like girl you heard what I'm talking about like yes 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 people yes. do that you know yes. and that's not good you know so on that aspect because you want to be a kept woman and you have to uh, you know you have to pull the masculine energy to you with the feminine that you're exuding, you need a sisterhood. But also, it is just something so miraculous about pouring into sisters. I have been, I mean, even when I think I'm failing, I'm not failing because I pour into women. And women just speak so much life into me. I speak so much life into them. And I just feel so icky when I'm around women who speak bad about other women. Yes. And you can tell these women, they don't know themselves. They don't love themselves. They're miserable. And there is something that a woman recently taught me and I had never really thought about it, but it, it just, it was like an aha moment. She said, women who are loved well are not jealous in nature. And I don't have a jealous bone in me and I never really understood why, but I know now it's because I'm loved well, you know? Mm -hmm. So I try to pour that into my sisters because I know we have a lot of trauma in the black community Yeah, and women, they don't understand that the gender roles in their minds that have shifted, have turned them into workhorses, which makes them miserable. They want to, they have this trauma bonding mentality, which makes them miserable. They try to be the saviors to these men, which makes them miserable. <laughs> yeah. It's so many reasons. I'm just like, baby, you are pure. You, you're beautiful. You know, you're a god. And you don't even see that. So I want to try to be my little glimmer in the world that pours into whatever a Black woman, I mean, any woman, but Black woman in particular that comes into my life. What has the pandemic taught you? The pandemic taught me that I love my man. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then you know what? The pandemic has taught me how to raise my frequency. 
Mm. I've become a vegan. That's why this thing is falling on me. I've had this for like, I think I ordered this as soon as it came out, like four months ago, and I've lost all this weight. But yeah, like it just taught me how to really understand that if you raise your frequency, no matter what is going on in the world, it won't touch you. Yes. I'm untouchable. And I do understand that. Yes. 